her. She was in Iceland, Spain. I'm like, what are you in the eyewitness program? What is happening? Are you being hidden somewhere? So we finally cornered her. We gave her no option. She literally just landed like two days ago. All right, so Julie Kowalski, director, 16 years with Pamper Chow. And the reason, her, her, her big thing is, I love the products and was looking for an extra three to four hundred dollars a month, which now she makes at a show. Uh, I'm most proud of my million dollar sales award and the many great vacations I've earned through the Pamper Chef, which is not traveling on her own. Uh, her goal for the upcoming year is to add more team members and help them grow their team with the goal of reaching advanced director. So I am really thrilled. I'm very excited about this. We've been waiting a long time. So live kitchen show with Julie Kondakowski. It's all yours, baby. Laura, you have the mic still on? I do. What an <laughs> ego. I swear to God. Okay. Into the bathroom. Hey, oh, exactly. <laughs> Guys, I yeah, don't take that about free Yeah. 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 Okay. You're here talking about with the mic that still on. There. <laughs> um, all right, guys. Really, you're going to want to take notes. She is awesome. She really is. I am super excited about this. All right, so here we go. Don't even say anything for candy. All right. All right, Julie, you're on. All right. Well, first, let me say that Friel told me I needed to impress her, so I am a little nervous. <laughs> um, but I did want to thank Friel because she put all this work into this great event, and it is a huge <coughs> undertaking to put this together. So. <laughs> I did. I had an amazing team. I still I just, have them. I still have them. I just have to say a couple of things. One is I do travel a lot, and some of you know this, some of you don't. But I actually own a tour company in addition to having a full-time camper shop business. So um, if there's teachers in the room and you do field trips, come see me about that. <laughs> um, the other thing is I tend to walk around a lot in my shows. I actually spend very little time behind the table. And if I come out, I'm going to like be falling. And I pass a lot of stuff around. So... That's going to be a little hard to emulate, so you're going to have to kind of imagine a little bit. And um, cooking with air food is really interesting. I practiced like three times yesterday, and my son was like, what are you doing? <laughs> so anyway, so those are all your prerequisites. So anyways, here we go. Well, good, good evening, everyone. How is everybody doing today? <laughs> are you glad we got off of that awful storm yesterday, huh? Yeah. So yeah, so much better. So um, I just really wanted to thank um, Susie. Susie, my host. You can be Susie, right? Okay. So I wanted to thank Susie for having me today. I really appreciate it. We've been looking forward to it and have some great recipes planned for you guys. She picked the recipes, so if you guys don't like them, you can blame her. Okay? <laughs> but I'm sure you're going to like them. We're going to do a classic pampered chef recipe. We're going to do a taco ring, and we're also going to do a chocolate lava cake. So for all the chocolate lovers in the group, we have some great food in store for you. Um, so a couple housekeeping notes before we really get going. Everyone should already have a catalog with um, just a photocopied sheet stuck in it on the table, and there's a bag of pens. If you didn't get one, you can just pass those around. And uh, the photocopied sheet is not an official receipt, okay? I'm going to actually email you an official receipt when you're done today. So um, this can just be your worksheet. So you're welcome to write down stuff as we go through the show. If you see something you like, if you want to go back and look it up in the catalog, write it down, cross it off. For the teachers in the room, there are no points for neatness tonight. So you can just write whatever you want right on there, all right? Um, we also have a new option, though, and um, if you are phone uh, savvy, if you have a smartphone, and if you, we actually have cell service where we are, and this is a side note for you guys, I live in western Connecticut, lots of places don't have cell service, so you're going to see I address this a little bit differently, but um, if you have good cell service, you can do our express party checkout, which makes it really quick and easy, you're not going to have to wait in line at the end of the day, um, so you can just go ahead and put in today's party code, this is for Susie, it's only good during the time of the show, so it's not going to work after we leave here tonight, and you're going to put in 764-385, alright, and that's going to pull you you right up to her show so you can shop on your phone while I'm talking. If you see something you like, you can add it to your cart. You can always delete it later if you change your mind. But at the end of the show, you're going to hit submit to consultant. Then you're just going to come up and see me. I'll have your order. We're going to verify it. If you're over the $75, we're going to talk about an item you get for free. We're going to add that on and you're all done. So you don't have to use the paper, but if you don't have a cell signal or you prefer to use paper, you have that option available as well. I also wanted to point your attention in the back of the book, you're going to see this great index, right? So every product Pampered Chef sells is actually not in the color photos in the beginning part of the book. So you want to make sure that you're looking in the back at the index. If you see an item with a red asterisk, that means it is not pictured anywhere else in the catalog. It's also a great tip, for instance, if you know you came for a can opener tonight and you can't find it, you can just zip right to the back of the book and you can easily find your can opener, all right? So how many people here are the dishwasher queens? Nobody, oh, see, I knew, there, I, 
I appreciate your honesty, right? So everything goes in the dishwasher. So I do try to tell people that, but if you're curious what goes in the dishwasher, next to every product in the catalog, you're going to see a little oval, DWS. That means it's dishwasher safe. So if you're curious about that, you can find it there, all right? Anybody happen to know who owns Pampered Chef? I'll give you a hint. It's one of the richest men in America. That's right, Warren Buffett. Boy, you're smart. Not many people get that. I get a lot of Jimmy Buffetts. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Warren Buffett actually owns us. He purchased us well over 10 years ago. And um, if you follow him in the business markets at all, he likes to buy companies and let them just continue to operate the way they always have. And so our founder was a home economics teacher. That was her base. She believed in families having meal times, wanted more time around the table, and less time preparing the meals. So that's why we have so many great time savers. But she has retirement age. And so she wanted to make sure there was a future for her company. And so we are a Berkshire Hathaway company. And the reason I mention that on my shows is I think it's important for you to know that we have a great financial status, right? We're owned by Warren Buffett. So if you want to know our warranty program, look in the catalog. Every product has a number in a circle, all right? If you see a one, a three, a five, that's a one-year, three-year, five-year warranty. If you see an L, it's a lifetime, all right? To both our sets of cookware and one set of our knives has a lifetime warranty on it. So you can rest assured. Now, if you need customer service, you can always call me. You can also call our home office. We're located outside of Chicago. And so the great thing about that is when you call, you can understand what they're saying, right? <laughs> oh. uh, <laughs> so with that, we are actually going to get cooking, and um, we're going to start our taco ring. Now, you'll see that I have the meat kind of already started to brown up here, and we already have our crescent rolls arranged on the stone, and they're going outward like a Mexican sun. So if you want to try to make this ring at home, just remember the crescent rolls go out and make that sun shape. The stone that we're going to use today, hopefully you can see it a little bit here. Um, I can't tip it too much because of those crescent rolls that are on that. But if you want to turn to, um, you see like that? <laughs> so if you turn to page, um, see I need my glasses, 17. All right, right there you see this is the stone we're using today. All right, I bet some of you in this room probably have the stone that is pictured on page 15, which are... The regular classic stones with the handles on the side. Some of you may even have the ones without the handles, right? But I'll tell you what, this is my new favorite. I used to always tell people that I love the large bar pan. And the reason I liked the large bar pan was that it had an edge on it, so things didn't fall off into the oven. Well, now you can have the best of both worlds, because this round stone, my favorite part, it has this little quarter-inch lip all the way around the side. So, what does that mean? Well, if you're cooking chicken breasts on it, right, you can bake like six chicken breasts on it. They're a little juicy. It's not running off the edge of the stone into the depth of the oven, all right? You do things like french fries, onion rings. For those of you that haven't used stoneware before, they brown really evenly. You don't have to keep flipping them, right? They're going to brown really evenly. So you can just put them on there. Again, they're not going to fall off the edge of the stone. When we're done cooking tonight, I want you guys to look at your crescent rolls when you go to eat it. The bottom's going to be golden brown, just like the top, all right? So for those of you that are, have stoneware and you're still cooking your crescent rolls or the little hot dog appetizers on your metal sheet pans and you're shoveling them off the pan, all right, you should be using your stoneware for those, nice and golden brown the whole way around. One of my favorite things to do on this round stone, though, are dessert pizzas, right? So one box of brownie mix, put it on the stone, 14 minutes, you have a brownie base, then you can top it with um, sour, not sour cream, cream cheese and strawberries, or you can top it with coconut. You have a great dessert pizza, comes with a recipe where it has a sugar cookie on the bottom and fresh fruit on the top. So just lots and lots of options, okay? Anybody here have a favorite piece of stoneware? Okay, somebody's <coughs> got a loaf of jam. The what? The shallow baker, okay. Anybody else? Loaf pan. Pan. What? What? Everybody all at once. Did somebody say the loaf pan? I think yes. I heard a loaf pan. Okay. <laughs> so the loaf pan is actually one of my favorites, and it's one of the best ways to explain to you how stoneware cooks so evenly. So if you make um, a homemade banana bread, or you make even a Pillsbury quick bread, right, $1.99 from Stop and Shop, instead of making it in your metal or glass, put it in your stoneware loaf pan, put it in the oven, you bake it for 40 minutes, you pull it out, it looks like it is completely and evenly baked side to side. All right, if you made that same piece of bread and you put it in a metal or glass, your edges are overdone and your middle's still soggy. And then you pull it out and you test the middle, it's soggy, and you put it back in the oven and you pull it back out and you test it, it's still soggy. And you play the little game between the edges are overdone and your middle's not done. You will never have that issue if you use a stoneware loaf pan. And then plus you can use it for your meatloaf or your turkey loaf, so great, great piece to have. 
The bar pans I mentioned briefly. If you live alone, you have a smaller household, or maybe you have a toaster oven, I highly recommend getting the toaster oven pan. All right, it's my mom's favorite piece. She lives alone. All right, the kids sell the cookie dough pull apart fundraisers. She doesn't need to make three dozen at a time. She can do four at a time on her toaster oven pan. She can do one chicken breast, a handful of french fries. If you've ever warmed up a piece of pizza on a metal toaster oven pan, you know the cheese like slides off and it sits in that layer of grease. Warm up the same piece of pizza on your toaster oven pan. The grease cooks into the stone, makes it nonstick for next time, and you're left with a really crispy piece of pizza. All right, if you have a household where you're looking for like two people, warm up lunch, go with the medium, you have a family, you're going to want to go with the large bar pan. So then for the dishwasher queens, where were all the dishwasher queens? Oh, see, there's a bunch of you. So for you guys, you're going to want to pay attention to page 16. So these are actually glazed both inside and out. There are newest stoneware pieces, and because they're glazed inside and out, you can actually put those in the dishwasher. Now those of you that have stoneware know that usually when they have the natural finish here, all right, you can't put them in the dishwasher because you're not supposed to put soap on them. You use them like cast iron pots and pans, just nice hot water and a scraper or a kitchen brush, all right? But for those of you that want to run them in the dishwasher, we have these pieces. I brought a sample of each one to show you. This is the largest bowl. It's pictured on the top shelf there. And I do carry this because I think that the picture in the catalog is very deceiving. And um, it's a much prettier bowl. So what I like to make in this is a pizza dip. And so you have the red, um, red sauce in the middle. And then you can put your biscuits around the edge. And you can put some um, garlic and butter and cheese on them. And then you bake the whole thing, pull it out. And then people can dip the biscuits right into the dip. And it's all served in one place. So we're going to pass that around. Then I also brought the smaller bowls. These come in two colors. You can get the natural color or you can get the gray color. And the natural ones um, are here in these, uh, same thing. They go right from the oven to the table. And then one of my favorites, though, is the platters. And the platters are absolutely beautiful. This is the smaller of the two that you see in the catalog. There's actually a larger one. And um, you can buy them as a set if you can't decide which one you like. And I go back to the crescent rolls. You can roll up your crescent rolls, put them on your platter, bake them, and serve them right to the table. And they look absolutely gorgeous. So you have a way to just not even transfer your food, just serve it to the table. So that's a little bit about what, see, usually I don't have these up here, right? <laughs> so we're going to go ahead, and um, I think the meat has been browning long enough. And um, I want to thank Jill, who's been up here twisting and turning for me. So how many of you guys have this? Yeah. All right. Somebody tell somebody what it's for. Everything. I like that. So it's made for ground beef, ground sausage, ground turkey. All right. You can stew up tomatoes. You can mash up potatoes. But egg salad. There you go. So you can twist and turn in the pan. Instead of taking that old wooden spoon and going like this, all right, it just crumbles up the hamburger for you. So our hamburger is just about done. And what we're going to do is... um. I'm going to share with you a little bit about the cookware because actually that's my favorite product and that is the whole reason I got hooked on Pampered Chefs. So back in 2001, um, I live in Plymouth, which is a small town in western Connecticut, and I drove up to Enfield, which is a good hour ride for me. I went to see a college friend of mine that had a new baby. I had never been to any kind of home party. It didn't matter if it was candles, jewelry, nothing. I really went to see my girlfriend. I came home with a catalog. I opened it up on the dining room table, and I told my husband I booked a show. Well, you can imagine, he looked at me like I had three heads, and he said, why in the world would you do that? And I looked at this catalog, just like this, and I said, because you need this frying pan. <laughs> and that's a very true story, all right? He had been through, like, three Kmart frying pans that were $35 a piece. The nonstick finish would come off, the handle would wobble, he'd throw out the pan, he'd go buy another pan. So I thought, we really need this piece for our kitchen. So I decided to host a show, because when you host a show, you get up to five items at half price. All right, so um, the pan that I got at that time um, was $160, so I think I paid $80 for the pan. So I've more than paid back my three Kmart frying pans at this point. All right, that original pan is still in my kitchen from 2001. Now, Pampered Chef has definitely upgraded their cookware since that time. And my personal favorite, though, is still the 12-inch skillet, which you'll see right down here on the bottom of page five, all right? And um, the reason I love that skillet so much is that it goes in the oven to 480 degrees, all right? The lid is safe to 400, but it also can be used on the stove top. So I actually take that pan on vacation with me. Now people laugh, okay? But I do not take it on a trip I've earned through the Pampered Chef, like to an all-inclusive <laughs> resort. I'm not crazy, okay? I don't take it to Disney World or anything like that. But um, I do take it, we go to the Cape every summer, and we rent a little cottage on the water, and there's not much for a kitchen. I have two boys, they're 12 and 19, so if anyone's had teenage boys, you know they eat a lot. So I do cook on vacation, and um, somebody must have a lot of boys. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> so um, I use that 12 inch skillet to make breakfast. I don't have a griddle. I can do three pancakes at a time, three pieces of French toast. I can do scrambled eggs in it. I've warmed up leftover pizza on the stove top. Um, I make a deep dish pizza in the oven with it. I've done a double batch of meatloaf in it. One year the boys on vacation were like, mom, we really want brownies. I'm thinking, how am I gonna make brownies? And then I had an idea. I doubled, did two boxes of brownie mix, baked it right in the skillet. My mom's birthday is when we're on vacation. She goes with us. I make her birthday cake every year in the 12-inch skillet. And if um, you have a show with me, we could do some great upside-down cakes. Um, the pineapple upside-down cake is wonderful if you're a traditionalist. And if you're a chocoholic, I highly recommend because it's my favorite, the chocolate caramel upside-down cake. So, um, so we could certainly do that. Now, those of you that go to Big Y and spend a lot of money on those big chocolate chip cookies that you can write on for birthdays and stuff, you can get the 12-inch skillet and make your own chocolate chip cookie. All right, right in the bottom. So those are a few reasons that I love that particular pan so much. Um, we're not using it today. So what I did though was I brought along our new 10 inch saute pan. All right, I'm gonna throw a couple ice cubes in here that I've had sitting up and we're gonna put them in the pan and pass it around. And the reason I do that is that I wanna show you how they conduct temperature very, very quickly, okay? And this is why you practice. There you go, there you go. So the handles are removable as you just saw. So they do pop on and then they pop off. So although they are oven safe to 480 degrees, the handles are not. So you do need to pop those off. But it does make a great feature for stacking them because you can just stack them right in your cabinets and you don't have to worry about all the handles hanging out there. So we're gonna pass this one around. Put your hand on the side and put your hand on the bottom of the pan and you're gonna see how the sides are just as cold as the bottom. That's because these are made out of a cast aluminum. And so they are the second best um, conductor of heat after um, copper. And so it conducts the temperature very quickly because the sides are made out of the same material as the bottom. All right. How many of you here have um, flat top stoves? Okay. So if you have, uh, it takes forever for your water to boil, right? There's always somebody. All right. It's usually because your pans have gone what the industry calls out around. It really means they're convex or concave. So they're not sitting heavy and flat on the stove top. You'll see pampered chefs, they're reinforced with titanium in the bottom. So they keep them heavy and flat on the stove top. So you're going to get that quick and fast boil. All right. So we'll pass that one around. Now, as much as I love our nonstick cookware, and it has always been my favorite item, three days ago we came out with new cookware, and I am in love, okay? This is the pan that I've been using up here, and um, you can see that the meat has browned up very nicely in here, but this is our stainless nonstick 12-inch pan, and you really get the best of both worlds. You get a nonstick pan in a stainless pan. So the other day I have to share a story with you because I had cut up carrots and I was sauteing them. And my neighbor came over, who actually is going to be a pampered chef consultant. Mm -hmm. So we went in my office, and we're talking, 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 talking. And all of a sudden, she goes, Julie, your carrots. And I went, oh, my God. So I would run into the kitchen. They were not burnt to the bottom, all right? Any other stainless pan, those carrots would have been history. <laughs> then I proceeded to put some chicken breasts in there. It made great fond, and then I made a great white sauce for a <laughs> pasta right in the bottom. I never did that type of cooking. I am not the chef. Never wanted to really use stainless. I was just so impressed. So if you've ever been scared of stainless, this is absolutely the pan. It has a special uh, mesh nonstick in the bottom, and um, there's no rivets. I forgot to mention in either of our cookwares, like when I made the sauce, you didn't get all the stuff stuck right around the rivets in the handle. You could just wipe it out with a soapy sponge. And best part, dishwasher queens, all the new cookware goes through the dishwasher, all right? So if you feel you must, you can put it right in the dishwasher, put this right in, all that white sauce came right off of it. So, um, so that's the pan that we're using today. Now, you can also use metal utensils in the new one. So I know that makes a lot of you happy because I've had, you know, hear from you that your husbands like to use those metal spatulas. So now you don't have to worry if they attack your pan, you're good. And um, we're gonna use our scoops right now to scoop the hamburger that we've had onto the taco ring. So our scoops come in three sizes. There's a small, a medium, and a large. They equivalent to a um, one tablespoon, two tablespoons, three tablespoons. So we're just going to go ahead and put this around on our crescent rolls. But while I'm doing this, I wanted to talk to you. You like this? <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about a few other programs that Pamper Chef has. So I do do a lot of fundraisers, all right? So if you're in the market for fundraising, I, I have to, to just, you guys are going to laugh at me. All right. So, <laughs> So I do do a lot of fundraisers. If you're in the market for fundraising, please come talk to me. I do catalog show campaigns. I do cooking shows. I do event nights. You could have a show at your home and then donate the proceeds to the lo local animal shelter. 
Um, I also do fundraisers for churches and firehouses that actually want the products for their kitchen. Um, so please keep it on mind. It could be an adult group. It could be a student group. All right. If you also have a big, long list already of stuff you're looking at that you really want, you need to go to my website. And at the end of the show, I'll give everyone a magnet with all my information on it. And on the bottom, there's actually my website. Go to my website, and in the top right corner, it says create a wish list. You're going to go in there and put in all the item numbers that you want, and then you can email it to your mom or your husband or your daughter and say, hey, here's some great ideas for my birthday or for Mother's Day or St. Patrick's Day or whatever holiday that you might be celebrating, okay? We also have a bridal registry, so if anyone here is getting married, um, definitely talk to me or if somebody in your family is getting married. It's a great way for them to get tools that they're going to use every day in their kitchen. They can still go to Macy's and Kohl's and register um, for some of the other items as well and um, sorry I just lost my train of thought <laughs> oh and the last thing is when I give it the um, the magnet as well there's also one other thing on the uh, website it's the outlet all right and so for those of you that love the pampered chef and you might be looking for something that was discontinued years ago you might find it on our outlet usually there's 75 to 100 items listed there they change it once or twice a month and uh, Susie once we're done with your show you actually get 10% off for a full year so when you put your email address in you're going to get 10% off so that applies to the outlet too so you get to double dip oh, all right <laughs> all right so we're going to pull the crescent rolls up and over the edge and um, I did just want to mention to you about those skillets because I forgot. Um, the new skillet is $210 that I was telling you about, the, um, this beautiful one here. All right. So if you host a show, that's $105. You think you're going to repay those Kmart frying pans that you had before? All right. And if you host in April, April is a bonus. Anything you want is 60% off. So you know what that means? This pan's $85. All right, so for $85, you can get this beautiful $210 pan. So um, you might want to think about doing a catalog show or a cooking show in the month of April and taking advantage of that. The other thing I forgot to mention about the cookware is on the back of the catalog, you're going to see this nine-piece cookware set right here. All right, you know what? If you can't decide between the 12-inch skillet that I was telling you about and the 12-inch saute style, then you need to host a show and get this combo package. You're going to get both the stainless nonstick as well as the um, regular nonstick, and you get all nine pieces. You know how much that is? $382. If you go to Macy's or Kohl's, you're going to spend five, six, seven hundred dollars on a set of cookware with a 15-year warranty. All right, Pampered Chef, you pay 382, nine pieces, and you're still going to get that lifetime warranty. So um, be sure to think about that if you're in the market for cookware, or you know somebody else that's looking for cookware, or somebody just starting out a new house or something that needs it. Keep it in mind; it's one of the best ways to stock your kitchen with some great cookware. All right, so Susie, would you be so kind as to put this in the oven for me? Yes. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so when it comes back out, never saw you move that fast. So when it comes back out, these are our cooling racks. They're great. They're stackable. They go three high if you don't have a lot of counter space in your kitchen. All right, they set right up for you. So when we when it's all done, you can bring it back and put it on that for me. All right. Say yes. <laughs> vegetables and um, what I'm using up here is actually our nonstick cooking mats and we actually they come as a set of three they all have helpful <coughs> tips on them um, this one has, shows you which knife to use for which job but the back is kind of tacky so you'll notice as I'm using it it doesn't shimmy around on the table for those of you that might be campers you can if you picture we have a smaller set they're about this size all right so you can buy those and they're great for your camper and so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the um, pepper ready. And so I'm going to use one of our smaller forged cutlery knives. This is a paring knife, all right? But I brought a couple other knives with me that I'm going to use and pass around. This one is a five-inch Santoco knife. Anybody know what the little notches in the blade are for? Air. Air. Stuff doesn't stick. Right, okay? So it creates a little air pocket so the food starts to drop away from the knife so you don't have to constantly stop and brush off your knife. This is probably our most popular one that is sold separately. And um, I'm going to use it up here, but you're welcome afterwards to come up and um, use it to cut up some vegetables and stuff so you can actually try it. They're weighted very nicely. And um, for those of you that know a little bit about knives, you'll notice they're full tang, which means they go all the way through the handle with the steel so they're not going to break off right at the edge. And if you're not sure what forged cutlery is, how many of you have been to Sturbridge Village? Right, we live in the right part of the country for this. Right. So if you've been to Sturbridge Village on a field trip, you know you go to the forgery and they hand hammer the steel. All right, that's why they're called forged cutlery because they're hand, hand hammered and they make a much stronger and more durable blade on the back. All right, people always ask me, you know, about sharpening them. This is my biggest tip. If there's a big Y near you, go to Big Y. They sharpen them for free in the meat department. All right. 
So um, if you're really in the market for a set of knives, I highly recommend doing a show. With, even if you do a catalog show, if you collect $200 in orders, normally the knife set is $386. All right, That is still $111 savings than if you bought them all separately. But if you host a show, you can take that $386 and do it as a half price item. So now you're paying like $180. Do it in April, it's like $150. And you get all nine pieces. So I say nine pieces, it's six knives. You get the knife block set, you get a honer, which I'll explain in a minute, and some kitchen shears. Okay? So anybody know what a honer is? One person. Sharp what do you think it is? I think it's a sharpener. No, it is not a sharpener. Okay? So, and that's a very common thing. Until I sold paper check, I had no idea what a honer was. So, um, but a honer will keep your blade straight. And so the importance of that is that you're always cutting on the bottom of the knife. So you're not going to catch the edge of it and dull it. So you really, lots of times you watch those professional cooking shows, they're honing their knife. They're actually not sharpening it, okay? Um, sometimes you'll see little shards of steel. That also cleans that off the knife. So when you get the knife block set, it's a honer that comes with it. It's not an actual sharpener, all right? So in the pepper, you can see I've made little up and down marks. So it makes like a V-shaped design. We're going to take the top off. And I'm going to scoop with our scoop loop, take the innards of the pepper out. And this is going to actually be our centerpiece. We're going to put some salsa in there um, when our um, taco ring is all done for us. All right. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to shred some cheese. And um, to shred the cheese, I'm actually going to use our microplane grater. And so we have two microplane graters. The one I'm using today is the coarse grater. So this you could use for your soft cheeses, right? You'd use it for Swiss or mozzarella or a cheddar cheese. But we also have a fine grater. So if you're looking for something to put over your pasta, like your Parmesan or your Romano cheese, you might want to go with the fine one. The fine one you can also use for ginger and garlic and chocolate and nuts, and it just makes a really fine grate. But we're going to use this one today. So of course you have the big block of cheddar cheese, right? And you always use the whole block. And then what happens when you get down to your knuckles? You get your knuckles. You don't want skin in your cheese, right? Yeah, yeah. So what you're going to do is it comes with a little food holder, I think one of the best features. You can put the little block of cheese on the back, put it over the top, and then shred the rest of the cheese right into your recipe. And you can see they don't have anything left, okay? So if you're interested in this, um, I'll pass it around afterwards. You're welcome to come up. It's a little tricky how to open and close, but once you know, it is so easy, okay? And um, you can see you can have two positions. You can up and down here, or you can do it all the way across a bowl, which is what I tend to do. So that's our micro plain grater. So we're going to set the cheese aside and then we're going to cut up the lettuce here. Now the lettuce I'm going to use our nylon knife. Anybody know what you use a nylon knife for? Lettuce. Why? <laughs> right, because it doesn't oxidize. Okay, so if you use a steel knife on your lettuce and it sits around, it's going to turn brown. Use the nylon knife, it doesn't turn brown. But you can also use it to cut your brownies. All right, it doesn't come back up as much, so a quick little tool on that. And we have some great other nylon tools as well. All of our nylon tools are heat safe to 425. We have a brand new colorful set, so they come as a basics tool set, and you have the spoon and a couple spatulas and a slotted spoon, so you might want to look at those as well. I'll pass those around. All right, so we're going to do our tomato next. And um, the tomato knife, you have a couple options. If you get the forged cutlery set, they actually come with a tomato knife. All right, the difference with a tomato knife is that it has a serrated edge on the bottom. And that's really important because you know in August when you have that garden ripe tomato and you go to cut it and the knife like bounces off the top of the tomato, all right, with the serrated edge it goes, cuts right through it like saws through the tomato. It's really easy to cut very finely. And I'll give you a great example. The other night, I actually went to do a show, and I had a girl shadowing me that's going to sell Pampered Chef, and the host bought cherry tomatoes, even though my directions said full <laughs> tomatoes. She had cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes. So the girl that was with me said, can I help you? Do you want me to cut those up? I said, yeah, but you need to cut them like as thin as possible because it was for focaccia bread to cover it. So she said, okay. So she's like, afterwards she goes, oh my God. I said, what? She goes, I can't believe how thin I got these. When you told me to cut them thin, I thought you were nuts. <laughs> so these knives are really, really sharp. If any of you have the older ones, I thought those were great until we came out with these last year. So you really, really need to try them. But if you're looking for a knife just to kind of start out your kitchen, you have like somebody in college or a new apartment, we also have our color-coded knives. Um, these are great also. They're a little lighter weight. And so we're going to use this to go ahead and cut up our tomato. All right. 
So we're going to move on to our onion, and um, the onion, I'm going to slice up for you first, and um, I'm going to use the simple slicer, and no pun intended, but this is really simple, all right? So this is great to do things like potatoes and squash, zucchini, um, anything like that. You just want a straight cut. It is in the locked position, so I can run my hand over I'm not going to cut myself, but if you pull back the lock, it'll do a really thin, which is great for potato chips, or even like cucumbers for a cucumber salad. If I pull it back two positions, then it's a medium and three is thick. So this part just goes over, which is the food holder. And for the onion, I'm going to use the medium setting, put the rounded back half of the onion on here. And then we're just going to easily go up and down on our slicer. And you can see how thin those onions came out. All right. If you do scallop potatoes at all, it is a great way. <laughs> what did you say? You can't even see them. They're so thin. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> so if you do scallop potatoes, they're perfect because they're all the same thickness. They're going to cook down really evenly for you. So that is the simple slicer. Now, we're going to go ahead and chop up those onions for the purposes of today. I do want to tell you that I would not normally um, slice my onions before I chop them. I only did that so I can show you guys both tools. Um, but how many of you have our food chopper? Oh, see, like the whole room. So, Jill, you didn't have it. You need to talk to your friends because they're all going to tell you why you need one, okay? Um, so we're not actually going to use this one today, but for everyone that has one, you know that they're great to chop one food at a time. Um, and just a couple tips with it. If you do have one and forgot, you can put a handful of nuts in the bottom, cover it, and you can chop right in the cover. You can also chop out on the cutting board. A lot of people forget that, all right? Um, also, it comes apart for cleaning. Top rack dishwasher safe, you don't get any food growing up in here, all right? So the other thing I like to mention is if you have ever dropped this on that tile kitchen floor and you broke this part, all right? Good news, Pampered Chef has replacement parts. You can now order them on a show. It used to be, it had to be a separate order, not anymore. So if you're missing like a sleeve to something or a part to something, just ask me at the end and we can easily add it on your show if it's a part that we sell. So we're going to actually use the onion with the manual food processor today. All right. So the manual food processor was new a few years ago. The difference is that it does multiple foods at one time. So for instance, if you want to make a salsa, you can go ahead and chop up your herbs, then you can add your onions, then you're going to add your tomatoes. You chop them all together, it's all mixed and done in one place. You just pull out your blade, it comes with a storage lid, and your salsa is ready to serve. Now you can also use it for things like onions. So for instance, if you cry a lot when you do your onion, it's great because it's all self-contained, right? So the blade inside, you can see it's three prongs, right? Most other manual food processors on the market have two prongs. Ours has this third um, sweeper blade, I call it, that picks the food up off the bottom. So we're going to put that in the bottom, and we're going to go ahead and put our onions in here. And then just it has a nice, easy pump mechanism. We're going to go ahead and chop that up. And the more you chop it, the finer it gets. So that's up to you how fine or how coarse that you want it. And can you guys see how fine that is? Mm -hmm. Wow. Right. <laughs> So we'll set the onions aside so no one has to breathe them right now, all right? And um, so I also have olives up here. So we're going to slice up our olives, and we're going to use our egg slicer. I don't think I've ever used my egg slicer for eggs, honest to God. So um, if you're not an egg eater, just know that you can use it for olives. My favorite season's coming, strawberry season. Great for slicing your strawberries, all right? You can use it for kiwis, bananas, anything like that. And so we're just going to do like a handful of olives at a time, and we're going to dump them right in our prep bowl. There we go. And so in our prep bowl, if you don't have these, there are six that come in a, um, in a box, so you get six. I love them because they come with the lids, so like Jell-O's puddings, you can stack them in your fridge. I think I have 12 in my kitchen, and it's still never enough. Um, the bottoms are bakeable to 350 degrees. If you already have the one-cup size and you like it, they come in two-cup and three-cup sizes as well. And we also have leak-proof lid containers made out of the same glass where the tops lock down. So you can put those in the microwave um, to microwave food, or you can take the plastic lids off, and you can put them in the oven and warm up food. So you might want to look at some of our glass line as well. So I also brought along our silicone uh, prep bowl to show you the difference. So how many people here have a KitchenAid mixer stand? All right, quite a few. So this is one of my favorite tricks. If you have the KitchenAid mixer stand where it locks on the bottom, all right, instead of having to unlock it and open the top to add flour or sugar, these are squeezable. So you can actually shake a little sugar in or shake a little flour in, all right? My other thing is if you like to um, melt chocolate or drizzle chocolate over things, these are my favorite tool to do that in. You can put some chocolate chips in here, melt them in the microwave. Now, never melt your chocolate till it looks melted, right, because you just burnt it. Okay, so you want to make it just soft and then you stir it till it's completely melted. They have a pour spout on these and then you can just drizzle your chocolate right over the top of the recipe. All right, so these come as a six piece set. They also come with lids too. All right, so 
let's see, what food did I forget? Imaginary food. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. So um, we're going to actually, while that's baking, we're going to move on and we're going to do a chocolate lava cake until the um, taco ring is done. And so I already mixed up um, the chocolate cake in our stainless steel mixing bowl set. So how many of you have our stainless steel mixing bowls? Anybody? All right. I bet you had a party. Did you have a party? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is not an inexpensive item, so usually when my guests say that they have them, I know that they've had a show. A lot of my hosts take them as a free item. An average host of mine gets about $165 worth of free product, so it's a great way to pick the bowl set for free, or you get 20 to 30% off anything you want, unlimited, so it's kind of like your personal shopping spree, so I have a lot of hosts that do that as well. But this is the medium size bowl. So um, they come as a set of three bowls and three lids, so six pieces. It's a two quart, four quart, and a six quart. For those of you that said you had the KitchenAid mixer stand, you see the bottom? All right, it's non-stick silicone, so you can put it on that KitchenAid mixer stand. It will wobble a little bit, but it will not come off. All right, so if it's the holidays and you're baking lots of breads and cookies, you have an extra bowl. I'm not recommending you do it all the time, but it does work when you're in a pinch and need a second bowl, all right? The other tip I have for these are, how many of you like to eat salad? Mm. Yeah, I love salad. All right, so did you know the best way to store salad is in a stainless steel bowl? Mm -hmm. All right, most people don't know that, and I think in all fairness, it's because most of us have glass and plastic in our kitchen that have lids. We don't have stainless steel bowls that have lids. So usually when you want to take a stainless steel bowl somewhere, you got the saran wrap, you're trying to make it stick, and it never sticks. These come with airtight lids that set down right in, all right? And then if you have a helper in the kitchen, like a little kid helping you, it's great because the bottoms are non sticks so when I mix it up, you don't get the tornado effect going on the countertop, all right? Now, I am not a big salad eater, so I'll give you another tip, though. I have a house full of boys. As I mentioned, I have two boys and a husband who qualifies as a third boy, I think. <laughs> so um, when I go out to eat, I tend to get a, or a salad. So I'll bring it home, transfer it out of the plastic or the glass into the smaller stainless steel bowl, put the airtight lid on, and the next day I can have it for lunch. Usually if you bring salad home from a restaurant, the next day you're tossing it because it doesn't look so healthy. All right? So what I use to mix up is our whisk, a very simple tool, but if you have a cheap one that all the tongs come together at the top, you need our whisk, okay? Very seldom do I even have to pull out the KitchenAid mixer stand anymore because you get such a good whisk. You can, um, like, brownie batter is like half the strokes, muffin batter is half the strokes, so um, you might want to consider that. So we're going to go ahead and put this in our rock crock. Now, how many of you guys have seen our rock crocks? Oh, more than I would have thought. <laughs> so um, this is actually the most popular size in the rock crock. This is a four quart Dutch oven size. Now the rock crocks are made out of stoneware, but they're fired at an extremely high temperature, so they'll withstand heat to 725 degrees. So what does that mean for you? It means it goes everywhere in your kitchen, and I mean everywhere. <clears throat> Unlike the cookware that I talked about that's oven to stove top, this also goes under the broiler, it goes in the microwave, you can put it on the grill, um, it goes in the dishwasher, you can put it in the refrigerator, so you don't have to worry about that. So let's just think about a simple mac and cheese recipe, right? You can melt your cheese sauce on your stove top, put your pasta in it and bake it, and then put some breadcrumbs and seasoning on the top, pop it under the broiler just to crisp up your cheese, and it's all done all in one pot. All right, so these do come with a glass lid, which I don't carry to my shows because they always get broken, and it also comes with um, recipe cards, but you can convert any of your own recipes to these as well. So if you want to turn in your catalogs, um, you'll find all the rock crocs are actually pictured on some page. Can somebody help me find it? No, because none of you have catalogs. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right, so all the rock crocs are pictured on page 10 and 11. All right, and so the Dutch oven one that I'm using for the lava cake is over here, it's item A. All right, item C is probably the second most popular. It's half as deep as this one, so it's a great option if you have a smaller household with like two people. It's called the everyday pan. And then I want you to notice this one, which looks just like the white stone I put in the oven, except it's all black. All right, so this is called our grill stone. It's the same size as the white stone that we have the taco ring on. But the difference is you can make pizza on the grill with this one, and it's not going to crack. So if you're looking to make pizza on the grill, invest the extra $30 and go with the rock crock grill stone. If you just know that you're going to use it in the oven, that's fine. Then get the regular stoneware. But this one also goes in the oven, so you can make pizza on it all winter long. And I have a friend that loves broiled shrimp. She uses it as a broiling tray because they're broiler safe as well. So um, those are some options. Now, I didn't mention yet, but Pampered Chef actually has come out with a few electrical products, which is brand new, and you'll notice one on this page where we have a slow cooker stand. 
So not only can you use it everywhere in the kitchen that I just mentioned, but they also fit in a slow cooker stand and they convert to a crock pot. And that is for both the Dutch oven or the everyday pan, all right? You can purchase them as the set, or you could get this separately, and then maybe the next show you want to add the bottom, you can do that as well. So that's a little bit about the rock crocks. But our Dutch oven, what we're going to use it for today is the lava cake. So I'm actually going to use our small uh, mix and scraper, and we're going to scoop out the frosting and put it on the top. Now, you didn't miss anything. I didn't cook the cake yet, all right? So you just put the frosting right on the top. And then, Susie, I'm going to have to ask you if you'll put this in the microwave for me for 10 minutes, all right? When you come back, though, I want you to just grab the handles, all right? No, no gloves or anything, all right? One of the cool things are that these will stay cool to the touch for about 20 minutes in the microwave, so you don't need any hand protectors when you pull them out of the microwave. If you grab from here, you burn yourself, so make sure you get the handles. Okay, okay? thanks for the time. All right. <laughs> all right. So while that's in, let me just tell you about a couple specials. Um, one is on your order forms in the book, you'll see where this month with a $75 order, you can actually pick a micro cooker for free. So we have two micro cookers. This is the large size and this is the small size with the handle. Personally, if you don't already have the large size, I would get the large size because these are hard to store with the handle and you can always make less in a bigger pot, but you can't make more in a smaller pot, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so the lids for these snap on, and you can see they have steam vents on the top, so you can do your pasta in here and drain it this way. Um, it's great for pasta sauce if you want to warm up red sauce because it doesn't splatter all over the microwave. Um, so these are, or the other thing is steaming vegetables too. Cut up your vegetables, add a little bit of water, and steam them right in your microwave. So those are the free item this month. So I brought along a few of my new favorites, and uh, one is our wine bottle opener. All right, so um, this was our first electrical item that Pampered Chef ever added. And um, you know, it's always great to have a show and a girl's night out. I know a lot of you are really busy, so sometimes it's just an excuse to get your friends together and have a glass of wine. So if you do that, I can bring along my wine bottle opener. We can open a bottle of wine in front of everybody. But tonight I'm gonna show you how you just put it over the top of the bottle, you press the lower edge, and it pulls the cork right up and out, and it stops when it's done. There's a lot of other ones on the market, they don't stop, or they're all stainless, so you can't tell where the cork is actually done. So that's great. And then when you wanna release the cork, you press the top button and it comes right out the bottle. Now the best part, no batteries, right? So it comes with a charger cord. It works just like a phone. You can charge it. It takes one hour. And um, I have had mine for about 15 months. I charged it when I got it, and I charged it once about seven months later. So Pampered Chef did a study. It'll open 60 bottles of wine. I am sure I have done many more than that because every show I'm opening bottles of wine, and it'll last a really long time, all right? Well, so. Sorry, one night at our house. I told them 600 bottles, and I tested them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to you. <laughs> All right. So the mix and chop that we used earlier was the fastest growing product that Pampered Chef ever introduced to our line, meaning it sold one million the quickest. All right. This guy is quickly catching up. This is our new ceramic egg cooker, and um, I gave one to my son to take away to college. You can make scrambled eggs, poached eggs, fried eggs right in your microwave. I personally am more of an oatmeal eater, so I love it for my oatmeal. It doesn't splatter all over the microwave. It does come with the cook times for all those different kinds of eggs and the directions, and um, you can do one or two eggs in there. Another great tip, though, is, you know, if you make muffins, you tend to eat the whole dozen. Well, there's a great recipe on my website for a lemon blueberry muffin single serving. So you just eat the one, you're done with it. You don't have to eat the whole dozen, okay? And then when you pull it out of the microwave, it's a silicone grip, so you can actually pull it right out of the microwave, and you're not going to burn your hand. So this guy has been super popular. Now in my house, I have a house full of Boy Scouts, so we have a lot of popcorn in our house because you know Girl Scouts sell cookies, Boy Scouts sell popcorn. So this is the microwave popcorn holder. And um, it comes in two sizes though, so if you're looking at this and you're saying, oh my gosh, that's like not big enough for my family. We do have a family size, and this is the measuring scoop. So you take regular kernels, you scoop it out, put it in the bottom, put this in the top, two minutes in the microwave, you have fresh pop popcorn. None of the chemicals or any of the bad stuff in the pre-bagged popcorn, all right? Now, big tip, I know you all get the products with the use and care card and you throw out the use and care card and you don't read it. Keep the one for the popcorn maker because there's a little cook chart on it and it tells you like two minutes, no butter, three minutes with one tablespoon of butter, four minutes with two tablespoons of butter. So you want to keep that and don't use the popcorn button on your popcorn maker. Now, I just mentioned butter. You see the little holes in the bottom? All right, you put your butter in there, put a little butter in the bottom. When you pop it, then you have buttered popcorn. All right, and we also have a great pantry line, and we have some um, seasonings that you can use with your popcorn, too. My favorite is the French toast. I know everyone says yuck, but it tastes really, really good. Okay. So um, while we're talking about silicone, these are our boil over no mores. 
How many of you like to boil over your potatoes and your carrots and stuff, right? St. Patrick's Day is coming, the corned beef and cabbage goes all over. So these are boil over no more. Again, it's the smaller size, there's a large one. They sit right on top of your stock pot like this. All right, when they start to boil over, they go bubble up here instead of all of your stove. So all of you that said you had those flat top stoves, you save a lot of scrubbing, right? Because it's not going all over the stove top. But a lot of people don't realize this insert is actually reversible. So you flip it over, you pop it in the bottom, and now I can actually use it as a splatter screen over a plate in the microwave. Okay. So I mentioned Boy Scouts. So anybody have our kitchen shears? These are actually called utility shears because they're good for a lot of things besides the kitchen. So um, my older son's in college now, but he did his Eagle Scout project a couple years ago. And um, what they did was they repainted and carpeted a Sunday school building. <laughs> this is like the evil thing. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, I didn't write it. I know they didn't write it. <laughs> so the, um, anyways, the boys had a really hard time with the X-Acto knives and stuff cutting the carpeting. So I said, hang on. I ran home, got four pairs of utility shears, ran back over to the church building, and the Boy Scouts used them to cut the carpet and cut all the padding. So you might want a his and a her pair. Wow. My tip is for the hers, put nail polish on the end, and then you know they're yours versus your husband's, okay? Oh, the funniest part of that story, though, is one of the um, scout leader's wives called me a few days later and said, Tim told me I need whatever the kids cut the carpet with. I said they were utility shears. So anyway, so they're good for a lot of different purposes. Wow. All right. yeah. So the last item I wanted to show you that's new is a whipped cream maker. Yeah. And um, we're going to whip up a little bit of cream to actually add to the top of our lava cake. And so this, it's probably hard to see from there, but there's a fill line there. So you're going to fill it halfway up with heavy whipping cream. All right, don't mess around with low-fat stuff because it just doesn't work. If you're having whipping cream, you just need the heavy whipping cream, okay? You're going to add a little bit of confectioner sugar and vanilla, and then you just pump the top. And mine's new. It's sticky. So you're going to pump the top about a minute, and you have fresh... Um, fresh whipping cream, and the top, when it comes off, it goes, you know, you can yeah. hear that thick whipping cream, all right? So, so we'll pass that one around, and you can scoop it out and actually add it right to your lava cake, so. All right, so I just really wanted to thank you again, Susie, for having me. And um, just a reminder, if I've tickled your interest at all, if you have a thought of doing a cooking show, catalog show, or fundraiser, it's just really important that you pencil in a date with me tonight. Um, and the reason for that is that Susie will get an additional half price item for every booking she gets at her show. So um, if you call me three months from now and you didn't book it, that's great, and I'd still love to come to your show, but then Susie loses out on that. So I'm currently booking through August, so feel free, we can pencil in a date. If we have to change it, that's fine, but at least we'll have it on the calendar and then you'll get your extra half price items, okay? Um, the other thing is, as far as ordering goes, if you're doing the paper order, please make sure that you put your name and your address and your email information on the form. That's for warranty information. It's not for me to drive you crazy. All right. If it's 10 years from now and you want to know where you bought that, you can call the home office and they can find your information. So it's really important you do that. If you choose to do the app on the phone, um, as I said before, that's going to come over to me and I will check it and then you will let me know if you're spending 75 or more which free product you want, right? You can pick the large micro cooker or the, or the small micro cooker. For those of you that are doing paper order forms, please come up and just leave them on the table. I know you guys want to socialize and have fun and have a glass of wine, so please don't feel like you have to form a line. Just leave it. Now, if I call somebody up that you didn't see put their paper down, do not think they're cutting the line, all right? They did the app, and it came into me over the phone line, so I'm going to take them first, all right? Um, also, we do take all four major credit cards, so if you can't decide, just get it all. So you can take any one of the major credit cards. If you need to write a check for an order, my husband's gift to me was a really long Polish name, so you're going to find it on the back of the catalog, all right? So <laughs> and um, I do have cash for some change. Now, everyone always asks about shipping. Um, shipping is $5.25 if the order goes to Susie, and then she will sort and distribute the orders, and you guys can hook up. Now, if you think that she's going to hold your products hostage, you might want to consider direct shipping. And so we have a really easy direct ship program, and um, it's either $2 or $4 more. If you order under $100, it's $7.25. If your order's over $100, it's $9.25. It's all direct shipped to you, so you don't have to worry about hooking up with Susie, although I know you'd love to see her. And the other benefit to that, though, is if you have family or friends that live in Florida or Maine, you can actually ship stuff direct to them. So we have that available anywhere. Lastly, if there's anybody you know that wanted to order that couldn't be here tonight, um, the, or the show is going to be open till Wednesday, right? That's what we agreed. So um, you are welcome to call in additional orders that you might get from somebody at work to Susie or to myself. You can do it through the website link. I do also have extra catalogs and order forms that you're absolutely welcome to take with you. Um, 
And I forgot the most important part, but I'll tell you guys that later because I got the little note. So, <laughs> um, so anybody ahead, have any questions for me? No. 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 Thank you. You're talk um, about the kit after I do the new products and I completely forgot because I was trying to wrap it up so you know what we'll bring you back up to do that that's fine we'll bring you back <laughs> up because I'm sure we all I'm, I'm gonna bring our